Hi YouTube, Clash from FPV here, and today I'm going to show you how to use and calibrate Betaflight's virtual current sensor. So there's many reasons why you want to have an accurate current sensor. Being able to tell exactly how much current your quad is drawing from the battery alone isn't all that useful. But what if I tell you that you could see exactly how much milliamp hour or capacity your quad has consumed? or how much minimum hour does your quad take to fly, let's say one kilometer, or how much flight time you still have based on your current flying style. For all of the above to be reasonably accurate, your quad will need to have a way to accurately tell or at least guess uh, how much current is being pulled. The easiest way to get this measurement is to set Betaflight's current meter source to onboard ADC. This tells Betaflight to use the ADC or the analog to digital converter on the flight controller to measure the output of the, you know, the current sensor chip that's present in most 41 ESC. If you see the current or C or you know, CUR on the connector pinout for your ESC, that's basically what that is for. That is how the ESC relays the information about the current that's being drawn by your quad to the flight controller. You just need to set the correct scale with the value that's usually provided by the ESC manufacturer and everything should be good enough. But what if your ESC does not have this current sensor chip? Or if you're like me, you have issues with the onboard ADC. The next best thing is what's called the virtual current sensor. Now, Betaflight's virtual current sensor works by guessing the amount of current that the quad is pulling by looking at what throttle value that the flight controller is sending out to the ESC. And note that I say throttle value that the flight controller is sending instead of the throttle value that your stick is at. Because when a quad is in flight, the throttle value that the ESC are receiving might be significantly higher or lower than what you are inputting at the sticks due to you know, your paid controller trying to balance the quad. It can guess or infer how much current the quad is drawing if we input a known current value for a specific throttle value. I know it sounds complicated, but trust me, it works fine enough for what it's trying to do. All right, enough talking, let's measure some current. To do this, you would need uh, a way to measure current flowing through a wire. You could use one of those you know, clamp meters that uh, you clamp around a wire, or you could make one of these uh, XT60 extension with you know, one of the wires cut in half, and you hook up uh, your, you know, your, your current probe, sorry, not a current probe, but um, the current, uh, you hook up an ammeter in series with it, so that it measures the current passing through the entire extension. Now, we will need to take two current readings. The first one is the easiest, which is your idle current. So this is the current at which your quad uh, draws while everything is powered on, but without the motor spinning. So that would be the current consumption of your flight controller, your camera, your receiver, ESC, uh, even your VTX. So yeah, do make sure that your VTX is on your maximum power output while doing this measurement then all you need to do is just plug everything in and wait for things to settle. Alright, there you go, 4.77 amps. So let's record that now and this would be uh, our idle current. Alright, so next comes the dangerous part. So you will need to measure the current drawn while the motor is spinning with props on. So you will need to strap your quad down real good. Uh, I use battery straps for this uh, and I strap the quad down onto a heavy wooden bench. Uh, connect the quad to better flight and well you can use Android version for this. Okay, let's, let me show you that. Alright, so now we have better flight. So let's connect. So let's go to the motors tab. Alright, so if you notice uh, in the Betaflight official manual, they are asking for you to you know, push the motors, all, all the motors up to 100% and take the current measurement there. But I think that's uh, unnecessarily risky uh, since you, know, you do not want, you don't really want you know, a motor spinning at 100% indoors. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just kind of hit certain uh, target. So let's say, let's check this, uh, understand the risk and be very very sure that your quad is strapped down because you are going to arm the motors you are going to ramp up the motors right here right now while measuring 
So again, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure that your quad is properly strapped down, right? So let's gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna hit the target of let's say one two five five at the throttle values. So let's just move the master up slowly until we see the value go up. You notice that again, your motor is gonna spin up. So we very mindful of that. So let's go to one two five five. Turn off. You can do that by just you know unchecking this uh, check right up. That should. Uh, we can do that by you know unticking this checkbox right here, and it should immediately kill the motors. All right. Disconnect and let's go back to the bench. All right. Welcome back. And now we are in the Betaflight configurator. The first thing we need to do is let's go to the power and battery tab and set the current meter source to virtual. All right. With this you will need to key in the scale and offset values for, for the virtual current sensor to work. In the beta flights uh, wiki for you know uh, current measurement, so there is a section whereby it highlights how does this work. So if you scroll down to the virtual sensor part, okay, so there is a bunch of mamu jumbos and a bunch of formulas that tells you how to apply and you know get virtual current sensor to work. All right. So you can have a you can take a look at this, but for me, I put everything into a, a spreadsheet so that's easier on my side. Alright, so just now we have measured two current readings. So that will be the idle current reading and the loaded uh, current reading. So going by the video that I recorded just now, so the idle will be 0 0.477. So let's key that in 0 0.477. Alright, then the throttle value. If I remember correctly, it's at one, two, three, five. But let's confirm that. All right, so we are at one, two, four, four. So let's put it in. So we're at one, two, four, four with a current reading of zero point. I mean, seven point nine five amps. If not, I'm not mistaken. Which was the final reading? So let's just take seven point nine. All right, so that should give us an offset of 48 with a calculated scale of 517. So let's just put that in. Let's go back to Betaflight Configurator. So it's already at 47. Sorry, it should be at 48 for offset. And for scale, it should be 517. Okay, let's put that in and click Save. And that's pretty much it. So this should work fairly accurate enough if you're just you know trying to get a ballpark number of how much current you are using all right so if you find this useful please leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this and if you're wondering what to do next uh here's what youtube thinks you should be watching thanks and see you in the next video bye <laughs>